High pressure is steering Hurricane Laura deep into the Gulf of Mexico, and it's also directing in hot and dry air into Florida. I'm meteorologist Megan Borowski. Here's the satellite imagery of water vapor from just earlier today. There's Hurricane Laura moving well into the Gulf of Mexico. Also notice this high pressure off the mid-Atlantic coastline. That's directing in these orange colors into the Florida Peninsula. That is hot and dry air, which will dictate our weather for the next couple of days. This afternoon feeling uncomfortably hot and humid. Heat indices topping the 110 degree mark. Feeling like 112 today in Gainesville and Bronson. 114 in High Springs. 113 toward Ocala and the Villages. It is going to be a hot one today. Folks, make sure you stay hydrated. A heat advisory is in effect for parts of the Nature Coast because of those high heat indices. Now, a couple of stray showers will be possible, and I mean stray. Maybe just a few brief sprinkles near Cedar Key, but overall dry air throughout the column of the atmosphere will keep things dry for us throughout North Florida this afternoon and this evening. So we get a break from the afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Let's talk about the trends for most of the work week. High pressure will persist off the Atlantic coastline. Heat indices each day near 110 degrees, and we also have a limited chance of showers. But by Friday, tropical moisture should start returning to our area, and that will drive up the chance of showers and thunderstorms through at least the beginning of next work week.